Hi everyone, it's Rhonda with Ideal Body Image, Ideal Weight Loss. Just doing a little cooking. Can anyone guess what this is? If you said pumpkin pie, you're right. Phase one, pumpkin pie, you heard it. So let me show you how to do this. Um, quite easy, loaded with vegetables. Let's see if I can hold up my pumpkin pie. This is a blast from the past as well. And we can give you a hard copy. If you wanna make, do a screenshot or pause the video, who knows where this will show up at. Um, I guess I could show you the whole page. Actually, it has an old green bean casserole recipe as well as a broccoli cheese recipe, though we've got a new packet that I'm about to do a video on that will replace that. But you could do this if this is what you have at home. So, pumpkin pie time. Let's see here. What we need for our pumpkin pie is a kibosh crust. And I'm using the keto, I mean the uh, pumpkin zucchini kibosh crust. We sell these in the clinic if you would like to pick them up. You do want a nice deep pie, pie pan. A shallow pie pan is not uh, gonna do good for you because it's a lot of filling. So give it a good spray and you actually need to get the sides because once we put the filling in, it is going to go up the side of this and the protein will stick to your pan and frustrate you. So we're gonna Stick our crust in our pan. It doesn't fit like exactly perfect, but it works. It's good enough for what we're doing. And what I'm gonna do is stick this in the oven five to seven minutes. Usually it's, it's closer to the seven, um, which is perfectly fine because it gives us just the right amount of time to get all the filling and the vegetables ready for the cake or the pie that we're doing. So um, the packets that we're using for this is we're going to use a, a New York cheesecake, salted caramel shaped pudding. We have new um, pumpkin spice pancakes and so I'm going to use one of those and then I'm also, you can use two of those if you want. If you are a gluten person, can't tolerate gluten, you can use the vanilla chocolate chip um, or you can use, we have a pumpkin spice cappuccino that you can use as well. But for what I'm using today, we're going to go New York cheesecake, salted caramel shake pudding, and the pumpkin spice pancake mix. Vegetables are going to be cauliflower, squash, and chayote. Um, I use frozen cauli, frozen squash, and just fresh, regular chayote. If you've never seen a chayote squash, I will be happy to show you one. They are quite lovely and we do a lot of things with them in the clinic. They're not very expensive either. They look almost like a pear, if you will. Um, you can eat the skin, you can eat the seed. I, I don't, uh, I, I use the whole thing all the time. And so what you want is a cup of this and a cup of this chayote is five ounces. So again, turning on my scale, I'm also getting my blender over here on its base. So it will be ready for us. I've already made one and so that's where some of that you see is. Blender is ready, scale is on. Usually my chayotes weigh about 10 or 12, yep, 12.9. So I always just cut a portion of it off, about a quarter. That's actually still 10, so we'll cut a little more. And where do we want to be? One cup is 5.6. Oh, I guess I should have cut math. I should have cut it in half. Would have gotten us much closer. All right. So there is our one cup of chayote. Again, you're blending this, so I just do a nice kind of rough chop so it fits in the blender well. But it's not, the size of it isn't that big of a deal. So get that guy chopped up. Then you want 4.4 4 ounces of squash, which is a cup as well. Um, I find you can either drain the liquid off and just do 4.4 4 ounces of your squash or use less liquid, but draining it seems to be the best. 
or you can just dip it out like this, and so then the water stays in the, in the bowl. So 4.5, again, a handful is generally a cup, and it was in that case. And then our cauliflower. You can use rice cauliflower, you can use florets, um, you can use fresh, but I just, I just like a frozen because it's easy. Um, and we're doing two cups, so you want seven ounces of cauliflower. And again, it doesn't have to be, you could do two cups of chayote if you wanted and just one cup of kali. I know one of my clients, her husband doesn't like kali at all. So omit the kali and just do squash and um, chayote. So your two squashes. All right, so there we go. So we're gonna put that in the blender and we're gonna get our packets that I left over here on the other side of the room. And again, what I love about this is the packets really, as long as they're pretty neutral, you can do anything. If you have the old school IP um, pumpkin spice latte, that's what I originally did this, this particular recipe with. Um, you want at least one, I feel like, pudding rest, you know, in there, but we're using some baking powder. Um, or if you only use pudding and you don't use any mug cakes or pancakes, then you'll use a little more baking powder um, because the baking powder is, is kind of your binder. But when I have my two pancakes, I don't need the baking powder. So, um, our caramel. So we have all of our squash in there. We need a thing of Knox gelatin, and that just kind of helps it um, set up so that it's more, it's not too, too loose. I find the gelatin just really gives it a good firmness and kind of that, it's almost a cheesecake-y type of pumpkin pie, if you will. And then we want to get, what is a pumpkin pie without pumpkin spice, right? We need our pumpkin spice and we need our pumpkin pie extract and we need our caramel Walden farms. Ignore my radishes over here. That's for another recipe that's coming in a few minutes. So one teaspoon of pumpkin pie. That's our pie crust. So we're just going to take a look at that and see how he's doing. Oh, he looks real nice. So he's, again, you, you, it's not gonna get super crusty. I'm just gonna stick it back in there while I finish this because I was busy looking for ingredients and my time ran out on me. We're going a teaspoon of pumpkin pie extract. And if you really want it more pumpkin-y, add, add more. And then we're going two or four, I'm sorry, four tablespoons of Walden's caramel. We have our kibosh crust and we need our egg whites. So I like to use the same container just because it makes sure I use all of my caramel. So two thirds of a cup, which I don't know if this thing even, it's just under. So we're gonna go a third and a third. Sorry, I can't see with my glasses. I can't see without them. All right. Three ounces is a third. No, a little under. So there's one third and two thirds. Which again, it's, if you've done any cooking with me, you know basically all my recipes end up roughly being um, one third of egg whites for every two packets. And so we had four packets in there and so you're putting in two egg whites or two thirds of a cup of egg white. You can make just about any cake, muffin, um, anything with two packets, two thirds a cup of, or a third a cup of egg whites and um, a teaspoon of baking powder and then seasonings of choice. 
So we are going to put our lid on our blender and we're going to go. Now again, there's not a lot of wet ingredients in here, so it's gonna blend a little while and then I'm gonna scrape down the sides and blend the rest. Not too long. You just wanna make sure all your dry and your wet ingredients and all your vegetables get all diced up. So, little scrape down the side, scrape off your Utensil, put your lid back on and go again. I'm going to pull the pie crust out while this is doing its thing. right here over your pie crust. It smells like pumpkin pie, quite lovely. We're just gonna scrape all this off. And then we're gonna empty the container. Again, kind of look and see, you might wanna just, um, just cause I know how full it's gonna get. If I were you, I'm gonna get a paper towel and we're gonna spray it with a little bit of our oil and I'm just going to rub this right along the sides of this hot pan. The pan is hot by the way. Um, and that way once I put all my yummy inside in it will not stick once it cooks. So I'm just going to get all this down here and again you don't want a thin or a shallow, I guess is the word I'm looking for, pie pan. You need a deep pie pan, otherwise um, it, it rolls over. It's more than you can get in one crust or one pan. The kibosh crust is a low fat, low carb, low protein um, kind of filler, if you will. So you don't actually have to count it. So there we go, there is our pretty little pie. It is hot. I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna just show you the close up. So it looks like pumpkin pie. It smells like pumpkin pie. There's no pumpkin in our pie. We're gonna bake that for about 45 minutes and it's gonna come out looking about like this. The cool thing is you actually, if it were like say you're doing this for lunch, or you're doing this for PM snack, you could totally eat one fourth of this pie. So I'm gonna cut this pie here and I'm gonna cut it here. And I'm gonna bring it back over here to you. And you could actually have one fourth of this. Now, if it's, say it's Thanksgiving day and you want a little bit of everything, that's okay too. You could, Cut this in eighths, which is a more reasonable size of a piece. Put this on a plate. He's nice and hot. You may even want to let him cool. Um, you could do one eighth of this, which is only half of a packet, and then do half of the banana pudding that we made last week. Or you could do a scoop of this, a scoop of the banana pudding, a scoop of the dressing that you've seen me do. Um, however you wanna do it, there's no right or wrong, just keep up with what you've eaten. I have also recently found, which just in time, it's a little ready whip and it is a pumpkin ready whip. How good is that, right? 
So you could put, don't go crazy, but a dollop of that on your pumpkin pie and grab your fork. I don't have anybody here to be my taster, so I'll be the taster for y'all. It's hot though. I usually like my pies cold. I don't know why. My husband likes his hot. It's pumpkin pie. You closed your eyes. If you didn't see me make it, you would never guess there wasn't pumpkin in here. So I can always sneak vegetables in. There's never a reason for you not to get your vegetables. Who wouldn't eat a fourth of a pumpkin pie for lunch? Two cups of vegetables in a packet. It's phase one. Thanks for joining. Feel free to visit us at www.myidealbodyimage.com. Reach out and make an appointment if you are already one of our clients. Don't forget to ask your coaches for a sample of your pumpkin pie. I'm bringing it to the clinic tomorrow and you'll be able, which is Monday, and uh, you'll be able to get a little slice. Have a great day.